You might give this to your kid, man. Like, yo, kid, this looks really yummy here. Your kid's gonna start crying. You're not gonna know why. Why? Because you just served up some devil's ice cream here. Hey guys, what's up? Paul from It Tastes So Good here today, and I am coming to you with something that uh, I've been avoiding making a video about, guys, and that is this. These are Korean crazy ice cream flavors. So I love ice cream. I don't really have much of a sweet tooth, but my weakness is ice cream. So I've gone through a few different stores and found some flavors of ice cream that are truly horrifying, quite frankly. This one is actually very tame. This is a soft tofu ice cream, corn ice cream, corn cheese, because who doesn't want corn and cheese in their ice cream? Yeah, spicy cheese dokboki flavor. This is a spicy vanilla and a red bean uh, bulldog. So it's got that spicy bulldog sauce on it. And we're gonna end with wasabi almond flavored ice cream from Baskin Robbins because why not? So I've got a lot of eating to do. Let's get to it. This first one actually shouldn't be too bad. So this is from the city of Gangneung and it's Chorang Sundubu ice cream. So Sundubu is a soft tofu. And I guess they mix the vanilla ice cream inside with it. So I don't think this is gonna be bad because soft tofu is, you know, creamy and yummy and a little bit kind of sweet anyway. So this is actually, you can see here, an ice cream cone. Yeah, it's vanilla y, and then you get kind of a, a tofu aftertaste. Not in a bad way though. The texture is a little different. All right. That's what I would say. Yeah, is this gonna be my first choice of ice cream? No, probably not, but is it something I'll finish? You're darn right it is. All right guys, so the next one I am not looking forward to. So this is a corn ice sandwich. Yeah, Koreans love to put corn in really unsuspecting places, let me tell you. So, uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> just opening that, I'm getting a big whiff of corn. Oh. Yeah, it's like a really nice Castella, really sponge cake type of thing. It smells like cornbread. There's actually pieces of frozen corn in this. And at first it's almost like a popcorn flavor with the cake and you're like, yeah, not bad, not, not terrible. And then you chomp down on an icy, cold, frozen piece of corn. Oh, now can you see? There's legit pieces of corn in that. Oh, yeah, that's not my jam, y'all. But don't worry, I have another corn one, so maybe that one will be better, let's see. This is corn cheese. So this is not an ice cream sandwich like the other one, but... Oh, this one's super cute. It looks like a whole Thing of corn, <laughs> definitely A plus for presentation here. So the outside is kind of like a waffle, and then it looks like there's maybe chocolate here. There's chocolate. There's like a layer. It looks like roasted corn. That's really cool. So there's corn, there's like a waffle outside, there's chocolate chips, and there's cheese. I don't hate it, y'all. The, the corn and cheese isn't really a strong flavor. So far, this is the best one. But now, I'm gonna move on to the spicy flavors. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so next up, this is um, cheese dakboki flavored, um, kind of like uh, rice cake ice cream. So on the outside, it should be like a, a sticky rice cake, and then inside would be the ice cream. It says it is, spicy so we shall see all right so these are hard to get out of the package but let's see yeah it's really sticky oh i'm nervous oh oh lord help me oh oh Oh, that's really spicy, actually. Because the outside is really chewy because it's a rice cake. I'm going to sneeze because it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought when it said spicy, it was lying, y'all. 
and then <laughs> you open it, you bite it, and it gets like all this explosion of ice cream, but it's spicy as hell. <laughs> oh. Y'all, if you come to Korea, make sure you learn to speak a little bit of Korean and learn how to read the Korean alphabet, because if not, you might give this to your kid. You might be like, yo, kid, this looks really yummy here. Your kid's going to start crying. You're not going to know why. Why? Because you just served up some devil's ice cream here. Oh. Yeah. I don't like that. All right. So next up, this one is apparently a social media sensation these days. So this is... Ming uh, it's a really spicy, crazy spicy food. So this is in the shape of like a, um, like a fish. Inside is vanilla ice cream and then red bean sauce it says, and then it has bulldog sauce, which is the same sauce that you get in the fire chicken noodles. Yeah, that one, that's world spiciest ramen. It's in here guys. Oh, <laughs> this one's super cute. It's a big pink fish. Oh yeah. On the package, though, the fish is crying. I don't think I really got to the, to the spicy sauce yet. One more big bite. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the bottom bite here. That part looks like it's red. So it's stuffed with like red beans and red, uh, red fire sauce, that spicy sauce. This is definitely something Utilities came up with as a marketing ploy. It's not overly spicy. I think the duck bulky one. It's actually spicier. That's fun though. Again, all the more reason you need to uh, make sure you understand a little bit of Korean if you can, because you don't want to give this to your kid or to yourself if you don't like spicy food. We got one more coming up. All right, guys, and last but certainly not least is the newest offering from Baskin Robbins. So in the Baskin Robbins 31 family, this one apparently needed to join the club. So this is the wasabi almond ice cream i love wasabi i love almonds and i love ice cream three things that i love so we'll see let's see a nice little scoop there's like a like a little jelly type of thing in there it's green and white y'all it smells like wasabi <laughs> i don't want to take too big of a bite of this oh i'm really nervous <laughs> i'm not gonna lie Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so weird. It's creamy. Oh, <laughs> it like alternates between like sweet creamy soft serve and then like salty wasabi and like chewy almond. Oh, that's weird. And then there's like this little like gelatinous jelly syrupy thing. I think that's the really strong wasabi. I think there's like a wasabi ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and then the wasabi syrup, and then pieces of almonds in it. <laughs> oh, that is really, really <laughs> weird. But in a strange way, it's kind of addicting. It's like straw. It's the wasabi's not like, like overly powerful. Mm, you know what? It's kind of starting to grow on me. The more I eat it, the more I'm kind of like, how are you doing wasabi almond ice cream? All right, guys, so I just tried six different flavors of crazy Korean ice cream. So if I had to rank them, I would have to say, and this shocks me, I can't even say, but I think that corn cheese flavor is actually my favorite. Yeah, I was actually not wanting to eat that one at all. And that was actually the best. Those pieces of chocolate made it really yummy. If I had to choose a worst one, that fish one, that fish one is not very good. The spicy bulldog fish one, it just, ugh, not yummy. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end that video here. It was a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and click the subscribe button as I do upload weekly videos and you don't want to miss it. And if you want to see more about Korean food and traveling through South Korea, then be sure to check out my new Facebook group. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. You don't want to miss it. All right, guys, until next time, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.